Our word this month might be a little challenging for some of you. Courage is being brave enough to do what you should do even when you're afraid. I love that definition because it points out that courage starts with being afraid. In a minute, Andrew is going to come parse the word for you while I go make sure the next segment is ready. But did you know that each and every one of us is afraid of something? That means we all have the opportunity to show courage. On the count of three, I want everyone to shout out something that you're afraid of. Three, two, one. Wow, I heard a lot of things. The dark, spiders, snakes, all those things can be scary. Oh, perfect timing, yeah, well. Andrew. Uh, we were just talking about stuff that we're afraid of. Hmm. What's something that you're afraid of? Oh, uh, me? I, I'm not really afraid of anything, Nicole. Really? Yeah. I find that hard to believe. What do you guys think? Uh, who, who are you talking to? Oh, uh, oh man. Uh, I, I never really noticed that camera there. Does, does that, does that, does that mean people are watching me? Like, like, uh, like a lot of, like a lot of people? Um, it's just the Sharp Creek kids. There's no reason to be afraid. You've talked to them before. It's just instead of them being here with us, they're there at the school. Uh, I, 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 I am feel, I'm feeling a little lightheaded. Um, I, I, I'm not, I'm not sure I can do this. No, it's okay. You do this all the time. I mean, what's the big deal? Uh, I, I don't, I don't do this all, all the time. Uh, th this is, this is different. Um, uh, you see, I'll, I like to see all the, all the smiles, all the kids out there. I don't, I don't know who's watching. Andrew, uh, you, you can do this. We... We need you to parse the words. The, the kids are counting on you. How about this? If I stay while you parse the word, will that help you have courage? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Andrew, this month's big idea is courage. And people fear lots of different things. Maybe if you face your fear, the Sharp Creek kids will know that they can have courage the next time they're afraid. Okay. Okay. You got this. Deep breath. I've had extensive training in language, universals, phonology, and social linguistics. So by using syntax, semantics, and typology, I can, I can break down the phonetics of a word to understand it uh, more good. Doing good. So, all right, let's get to it and parse the word. Let's start with the first two letters of the word. C-O, as in commanding officer. As in the army, as in, you better have a lot of courage or you're in a world of hurt, mister. Now, had the letter U and you have the first three letters of the word cougar. And yes, you have to have a lot of courage to face one of those. <laughs> now, let's get rid of the C and add the R and you get our, as in our videos can be really scary, which believe you me, we have to have tons of courage to record a video like this. All right. Let's drop the O-U and add the A-G-E. Then you get rage, which spelled backwards is eager, which sounds like eager, which means you get excited for courage. Woohoo! Woohoo! And lastly, if, if you take off the R, you get A-G-E. And for some of us, it takes a lot of courage just to admit our age. And that's it. That's, that's how you parse the word. Well, great job, Andrew. You did it. So... Our friend Andrew was nervous about speaking in front of a group of people. Betcha. And that may happen to you too, when you have to do a presentation or speak in front of your class. When that happens, find somebody you can look at who will smile at you and support you when you are nervous. And then offer to do that for another classmate who gets nervous presenting in front of others. Come on, Andrew, let's get you settled down. The rest of you, check out this video.